Hey guys. So we are going on a carnival cruise. It is a three day. It's um, a Thursday through Sunday. And um, we do a lot of cruising. And so um, after a few years, we've kind of realized what is we like to bring on the cruise and what we don't. And what I love about cruising, especially if you're not going to fly there, is I can actually bring full size things. Because as you know, we work for the airline, I work for the airline, and I like to pack very light when we go on vacation on the airplane because we pretty much do everything carry on baggage. Um, because we stand, we fly standby, and, and, and the thing about flying standby, you want to be able to change your flights if you need to, or be able to go on the next flight and the next flight and have your stuff with you. So, um, let me go ahead and get on to the video. These are some of the things that we are going to be bringing on to our um, toiletries. And um, the reason why I overpack for the cruise is because if you try to buy these things on the cruise, it is overly priced. I remember one time I had a really bad cold and I tried to buy some NyQuil. It was an itty bitty thing of NyQuil for $20. Um, I needed Dramamine. It was an itty bitty thing and it wasn't even real Dramamine. It was like this natural version of Dramamine, which really did nothing for $20. So um, I make sure that we have everything we need. Um, so it might be overkill, but at least I don't have to pay anything out of pocket and I can just use what I have from home. Okay, so um, according to this, um, we go ahead and get, um, you eat a lot on the cruise, so you might need some acid reducers, um, some Imodium, um, some cold and flu, you know, some Dayquil NyQuil, some Advil, some headache relief and pain reliever and definitely Dramamine before you even get on that boat about an hour before you might want to take Dramamine if you are prone to motion sickness. Right here are just um, the whole Zika virus thing. Um, we had some of these wipes. These are eight hour wipes and they're for mosquitoes if you're going to a tropical place. Um, this right here is just a spoon for my son when he takes his medicine. This is some natural um, Dramamine Motion Ease. Um, this is um, just some kids ibuprofen, some cough and cold medication, some ear, some ear drops, ear relief, um, some more um, hospital strength ibuprofen, and some um, some Vicks, some band aids. Obviously, toothpaste and toothbrush, and some mouthwash. We also take some cough drops, um, some, um, gosh, Q-tips. Um, these are just floss, just different flosses. Some soap, and then these are some hair products. Um, just spray for the hair, conditioner, and. Um, detangler for my son and here's some shampoo and then um, my son my youngest son needs um, instead of lotion he has to use um, petroleum jelly so we go ahead and take that I also have a sewing kit if something tears um, generally you just have to just change your outfit but if it's for like one of the fancy outfits it's nice to be able to have that um, some perfume some lip balm a brush um, some conditioner of course and here is some um, sunscreen you don't have to pay for it on the boat it's very expensive there and um, I know in California we always have toilet seat covers and maybe most states but um, on the cruise sometimes they don't have the toilet seat cover so this is nice to have if, um, or even certain countries you might need to have some toilet seat covers um, these are just flushable wipes and deodorant here's some fingernail polish um, here's some nail polish remover and then um, hand sanitizer here's a small one and here's a large one and then if the room you're gonna we're, we share the room with five people so just to kind of make the room smell good this is from Bath and Body Works and it's called stress relief but it's just um, it just smells really good so it's kind of like an air freshener and then some cotton rounds and um, just to kind of clean the room a little bit and disinfect if you feel like it needs to be cleaned a little bit, here's some Lysol. 
So this is pretty much what we bring for um, like toiletry kits and stuff um, on the cruise. Again, I was telling you it seems overkill, but at least you don't have to buy it on the boat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.